I went in that motherfucker and got my mind right. So I was able to walk up out of that motherfucker, not just free from that bullshit, but just free from being able not to work. Now I can get to work. You get what I'm saying? That's all I ever wanted to do in regards to whatever, dealing with the contract and shit with dude over there. You know, people don't know, you know, homie claim that I had owed him and shit, all of that bullshit. I know I don't owe a nigga, but even me at a point of time, Paul, I got to the place where I was like, you know what, I just want to get to work. Fuck it, I'll pay him. So I even got to a point where I even tried to pay the nigga for something that I know I didn't owe, but that's how desperate I was, because I'm like, 300000 nigga, I'll make that, you know what I mean? you make that so, back off shows. You know, we talked I'll, about yeah, that. that yeah, hell yeah, that ain't shit. So it's like, you're going to do that. So it was really one of them situations where homie just, you know, I guess in spite about a lot of shit, you know, for whatever it is, you know, basically, I feel like I'm old. If I owe you this show me on paper, I'm going to pay you. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to go around all of that bullshit for far as legal. And then it got to the point where I had no choice to try to go that way. So I, I got to having my legal side, conversate with his legal side, got to a point where I said, well, you know what? I'll give you half of the 300000 and the other half in 30 days, my nigga. He come back and add 50 more thousand on and say he want me to sign over my whole catalog. You know, I own all my shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? And I'm the only nigga that ever recouped in G on the history. I don't owe Interscope or G unit the quality, my nigga. You get what I'm saying? So for me, it's, I get caught up and tangled up in, in a lot of the bullshit. And it was really one of those situations where I tried in every kind of way, you know, to work it out. All right. You, you saying I owe you an album? Let me give you an album. You feel me? All right, you ain't going to give me no album. Let me give you the money then. I think what homie was doing was just trying to kind of get the energy from, oh, I don't know. I but you good. Like, you good now, though. You can record yeah. and you can drop I can now. record and do what I want to do, man. I got to a point. That's good. I said, fuck that. When I was in jail, I put my pride to the side. Fuck that. I done filed bankruptcy before in my career. I do it again. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, and filed that shit and, and and just really to be honest, I didn't file no bankruptcy technically to get out the contract. I filed the bankruptcy just like, look, if I owe you, nigga, show me where I owe you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That was already the, the whole thing. You know, from the very beginning when he was screaming, I owed him three fifty. I said, well, nigga, just show me the receipts. Show me where you where you claim you gave me these three fifty or two fifty or whatever. I knew it wouldn't happen because I knew what it was. The fans and people don't, but you know, these are the games that niggas do with this shit. And it's cool now, you feel what I'm saying? Cause I get a chance to, you know, do what I always been trying to do from the beginning. Let's just make good music, you know, 